Oh my gosh. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I'm a reseller on the eBay Poshmark and Mercari. This video is a fun video for me. This video is a thrifted Christmas swap and myself and Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. and Rachel from Superior Girl Vintage, we each sent each other a package of all thrifted items. We said that we were going to set a $10 limit, which I don't even know why we said that because none of us, I think, followed that rule. And it's hard to find things for $10, but we didn't. And I, they know that I didn't follow the rules and I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that they didn't follow the, follow the rules either. But today I'm going to be opening up Alex's box. Rachel's box is on the way. There was a little bit of a delay with it getting here, but I can't wait any longer. I got to open this box. So I'm going to open Alex's box first. And then when I get Rachel's box, I'm going to open Rachel's box and I'll add it to this video. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into Alex's box. And I just saw, just got a notification right now on my phone. Speak of the devil. Alex just sent me a Marco Polo app. Alex and I talk a lot, several, several times a day. Sometimes we get nothing done in the mornings like we say we're going to do because we're talking to one another and showing each other what we got, th what we got thrifting and, you know, that kind of thing. So if you don't, now Marco Polo, the app is not a sponsor. They've not reached out to me to try to plug their app at all. But I honestly, I do love the app. And it's just a way that you can talk to each other kind of on your own terms. It's it's different than Snapchat because Snapchat, like I'm old. And if someone sends me a Snapchat, I don't remember like an hour later what they sent me. With Marco Polo, it's all, it's, it, it's all saved. I think it saves for six months. So you can go back and say, oh yeah, that's what we were talking about. With Snapchat, I don't remember. So I, I like it for that. And I like it because it's, well, it's almost like you're you're talking on the phone back and forth with one another, but you, I have a problem with interrupting, so I don't interrupt anybody. So they get the chance what they want to say, and then I can jump in and say what I wanted to say. But anyway, try the Marco Polo app. It's fun. Now let's go ahead and get on with Alex's box. And I open, I just opened it up so I you wouldn't see me struggle with the tape. So. Let's see what it is. Now, these are all supposed to, supposed to be, supposed to be thrifted Christmas things. Thrifted and Christmas and things. So, let's see. So let's take out the paper. Oh, my gosh. It's full of stuff. She didn't spend just $10 on everything that's in there. You sneaky sneak, Alex. Okay. So, on top is a card. This is exciting. And get it open. It's got this cute little snowman. And it says, Misty and family, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wishing you all the merry moments and jolly joys of the season. I hope you love all these goodies. This was a tough challenge. XO Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. This was tough, but I don't think any of us followed the rules. Just saying. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pull out. Now, I adore vintage campers, and one day I would love to have a little vintage camper of my own. So she sent me two, two little vintage camper ornaments. I'm going to hang those on my tree. Oh my gosh, I love these. Did these come from Dollar Tree? Because it looks like Dollar Tree packaging, and they didn't have these at my Dollar Tree if they did, because those are super cute. You could do all kinds of crafts with these too. I mean, if I was a crafter, which I'm not, but you could. All right. I don't even know what to start in next. Let's do this in this nice little gold envelope. Oh, look! It's a little doggy. I think I've seen. I have seen this in her video. It's a little felt doggy, and I love his little feet. Our paper clips. That's so smart. Oh, I think this came from one of her Salvation Army hauls. I remember seeing that. And a Santa cookie cutter. I love that. So I'm going to hang both of those on my tree as well. Everything is just, I mean, look at this. The way that it's all 
she has it all just wrapped up so nice. Oh, I just am pulling this out too because this is hilarious to me. She lives in Florida. Alex lives in Florida. She says she hates Florida. Um, but I and I live in Indiana and right now it's snowing and it's winter and it's cold. But she sent me, they don't have these in Indiana, Alex. They don't have Flamingo Santas in Indiana. This is so fun. I'm going to add him to my Santa collection, my display, because he's got a Santa hat on. That's so fun. I love that. All right. Next is this. And I'm saving all these little bags here, and I'm going to reuse them for my reselling stuff. So I'm going to carefully open up this bag because this is really cute. It's like a little cookie snack bag. What's in here? Aww. Aww. She sent me some more little wooden soldiers to go with my wooden soldier collection. There's a red and a green and a white. They're wood. I love these wooden ornaments. You know, there was a time when these wooden ornaments, I wouldn't even bat an eye at them. I thought, who wants those? But now, they're a hot thing right now. And I love them. And they're, and they're so quirky. This could be coal. Could be coal. I kind of, I think I've been a bad girl to get coal. Oh. <laughs> I love. She knows that I like these trivets. This one isn't Christmas, but I, it'll it'll pass. Ma loved Pa. Pa loved women. I love the way. It, is it? Is this Indiana talk? It's kind of Indiana talk, Alex. Ma loved Pa. Pa loved women. Ma caught Pa with two in swimming. Here lies Pa. I don't know what that means. Ma loved Pa. Pa loved women. Ma caught Pa with two in swim. Was he skinny dipping with two women? Is that what that means? Here lies Pa. And she killed him. There he lies. Is this his gravestone? That's kind of creepy and I like it. This is made in the USA. But see how women spell? And it's probably coming up backwards. So I'm not even going to show you the words because I'll get all kinds of messages how I can't read the words. I know because I have to figure out why my it's doing everything in reverse. So I'm going to figure that out. But that's hilarious. Thanks, Alex. I like it. It's so creepy and morbid. All right. Next, we have another little baggie, which is a cute little Christmas baggie. Look at that. That's cute with the little hot chocolates on it. I'll reuse that. Oh, and she sent me a Flamingo tape dispenser. She's really trying to pull some Florida stuff. That's super cute. That's super cute, Alex. Thank you. I like that. Okay. I don't even know what to go next. This is another cute bag. Where are you finding these bags at, Alex? These are so cute. I'm going to try not to tear it so I can reuse it. Oh, and it's wrapped up some more. Cute. It's this little Indian or Native American. It's this little Native American statue. But look how cute he is with his little hatchet and his little knife. And I like that his back is flat because you can put him on a display and you can kind of put him all the way against the back and you don't have to worry about him sticking out. But he has a neat little creepy face and I like it. Super cute. I should put him with all my toy soldiers. That'd be fun. And then, oh, it's a kitty cat. This is a little kitty cat, and it's dated 1989, so it is a little, little vintage Mrs. Kitty Cat. She's cute. I am starting a Mrs. Claus collection. I know. I, I need to have Mrs. I'm overrun by Misters. I need Mrs. So she will go to my Mrs. Claus collection. So cute. I have another cute little... Alex, I'm telling you what. Her packaging... She goes on about how cute my packaging is, and I'm kind of thinking she has me beat. 
And then I'm kind of thinking, I don't think I packed theirs as cute as she's packed mine. I, oh my gosh. I love this. Look. I love it. I love these little flocked deers. I have one of these and I have an ornament. You see it right there? That's a repo ornament, homework ornament that they made a couple years ago. Mark got it for me for Christmas. I love these. This is amazing. Look at her little looking at you like, yeah, I don't know about you, lady. But I love this. Alex, I'm surprised you didn't keep this. You like this stuff too. Thank you for giving it to me because I will love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Three more, bo four more boxes in here to open. Again, the most adorable little box. Okay, so I've got a little little treasure trove of ornaments. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at the little baby Santa all bundled up for winter. Look at his little hands and his little feet. He's so cute. Look at his little feet. Oh my gosh, he's... He's just like, he's like Randy in Toy Story. And then attached to that is a little miniature Santa ornament. What's this book say? No way. Oh, oh, I love her. She looks very grumpy. She's a grumpy little angel. Look at her little grumpy face. Is this gonna focus at all? There we go. Look at her grumpy little angel face. And I like her little hands. She's got little arms here. She's cute. Oh my gosh. This is like a little pick that you'd put like in a floral arrangement. He's just a little styrofoam Santa. And he's got his little bottle brush tree right there. Love that. And then we've got this little, is he made from a pine cone? I think he's made from a pine cone. A little pine cone elf drumming his little drum. So cute. Oh, and she sent me. He's fun. Look at his little, he's a little dancing. He's a little dancing nutcracker. That's fun. I could sit and do this for hours. Dancing a little jig. This is so fun. This is so fun. So there's that box. Then I have another box. And then I have two more after this. This is ridiculous, Alex. You weighed it and follow the rules. It's funny when you do these and you think, are they going to like the stuff that I sent? Because the stuff that she sent me is so good. Okay. I love this. This is cool. Look at his eyelash or his eyelashes. Those are his eyelashes because his eyebrows are above those. But you see these little, he's got some eyelashes. Does he have teeth? No, he doesn't have teeth. This is like a cake topper. So it's like a cake decoration. Not the edible kind. But, oh, that's fun. I like just oddball things like that. And then we've got more, a little treasure trove of more Santas. Here's a little flock Santa. He's on, he's on ice skates. She paid 50 cents. For, she paid some, these were 50 cents for a lot of these. That's really good. Your Salvation Army prices things just right. But there's him. He'll go with my army. And then we have this little Santa, or yeah, Santa polar bear. He's cute. Look at the little Santa box he's holding. I think it like it would go into like a candy dispenser. I like it though. I like him. And I like that he's tall. It's good to have things that are tall for a display. And then we've got, oh, I love her. This little, I think she probably had wings at one time, but she doesn't, she no longer, she's been de-winged. She's a bad girl, evidently. But look at her little hairdo and her little bow. I love her. So she'll go with my other little, little angels I have going on up there. This is fun. I still have two more boxes. And the thing of it is, how cute are these? Those are 
are like the cutest boxes I've ever seen. Look at the little reef on there. Man, I'm using these again. That is adorable. Did you do this, Alex? Did you buy these like that? I don't think she drew that on there. But she's pretty creative. She might have. I love that. I love this little wreath. I'm getting a little ridiculous now. Okay. Let me open up this little door. Again, it's filled with other little treasures. Oh, a little, I love the little pencil sharpeners. The little plastic toy soldier pencil sharpener. I like pencil sharpeners. And then another little Santa. I think is he... He might... No, he's an ornament. A little plastic Santa ornament. Then, this is wrapped with a bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. She's amazing. She, let, me, let me get a gander at her before I show you, but... Her face is everything. It's a little angel, and I love the color of her dress, but she is over it. She is way over Christmas. Done. <laughs> she is, look at her. She's amazing. I love these. See, I've started a new collection this year, and that's my vintage angels. And I have a couple at the shop that I'm thinking, I think I'm going to be bringing them home. We'll see. But I love the color of her dress of her dress. She's got little gold tipped wings and she's over Christmas. I love her face. Really look at the faces on some of the, of the, um, oh, this one's, hang on a minute. I'll show you this box in a minute. Let me th finish my thought. But if you look at the faces of some of these vintage figures, their faces are everything. Sometimes we, we, we see the figure, I'm looking at some of that, that I have up there, but we see the figure in a whole, but if you really look at their faces, do that. Do that. You might be surprised at some of the some of the little characters that you have. But okay, so the box with the door was cute. But look at the box with the car with the tree on top. Really? That's adorable. Oh my gosh. I just can't get over the, the packaging, Alex. You win on packaging. Totally win. And this little fella is wrapped up. Oh, he's Pepper. Oh, and this one is a little pepper, salt pepper shaker. This one's a souvenir piece. She knows that I like souvenir pieces, and this is from Niagara Falls. Is it Niagara Falls, New York? It just says Niagara Falls. But he's giving you a little hug. I'm Pepper. And then there's another one that says, I'm salt. They look just the same. So. Cute. Alex, you did amazing. And your your packaging is amazing. So I'm excited to get this stuff displayed. I will get it displayed and I will uh, attach some pictures at the end of where I've displayed everything. And I'm waiting on Rachel's box too. So as soon as I get Rachel's box, then I will attach it to this video as well. Bye guys, it's Misty and it is the next day and I have received Rachel's box from Superior Girl Vintage. Again, Alex's um, channel and Rachel's channel is linked in the description below. So make sure that you do go check them out and you can see what I sent them and what they sent each other as well. So um, I also wanted to open up a few holiday Christmas cards that I received at my P.O. box. This first one is from Judy Gillock from Louisville, Kentucky. How do you say Louisville? You say, I know how Judy says Louisville, because I know how you say Louisville. But how do you say Louisville? Do you say it Louisville or Louisville? Comment below how you say it, if you can grammatically figure that out. But anyway, so this is this pretty card with some cardinals on it. And it says, watch your videos all the time. Hope to come to your shop. Since I am so close. Yes, you are. You're about two hours away. Um, I'm in Louisville. 72 years old. Can't get out much. Oh, Judy. I would love for you to come and visit. If you can make that happen, make sure that you let me know. And and I'll make sure that, that, that we get to meet and talk. But thank you so much for sending these cards. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching too, Judy. This next one is from Jackie. 
Christmas card from Jackie. Oh, Jackie sent me a note. Let me look at it first to see if it's something that I want to read. I'm not sure if she wants me to read this. So I'm not going to read the letter out loud, but um, I just want, let's, Jackie's had some some health issues. So let's, if you are, you know, if you are a, a faithful and praying person, put Jackie in your prayers um, for a speedy recovery. Um, oh, she's, she's, she's a great lady and she's a fighter. She's feeling better. And she said that this paper that she's writing this letter, and it's really pretty. Look at the inside of this envelope. It's kind of a, almost like a wrapping paper on the inside. She said that her brother found it at the bins. So she's, that makes it even more special to me, Jackie, that your brother found this paper at the bins because I'm all about upcycling and recycling things that were evidently going to be thrown away at the bins. I just really appreciate getting the cards and the letters um, in the mail. It really does make me smile. And um, I'm hoping that just my videos will make you smile too. So that's always my goal is to just put a smile on your face. Maybe, um, you know, do a little bit of insight on my experiences in reselling and buying and selling antiques and to make you laugh and smile. So if I can do that, then I feel like my job is, is done. Okay, so let's get into Rachel's box. Rachel has also, could also use a little bit of prayers too. She has um, had some 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 health issues herself so if you could put Rachel in your prayers as well that would be really greatly appreciated and I have been so excited to get dig into this box this box has been sitting for a day and it's been driving me crazy because I've been wanting to get it open but I didn't have time to yesterday so I'm doing it today all right so the first thing I'm going to pull out and did I show you the inside there's all kinds of goodies in here is this cute little Santa in a basket Look at that Santa. And it's, he's got all his little greenery and, and decoration. And that would look cute on a shelf. And it's tall, so it would add some height, which I like to do. Or you can hang it on the wall because it's flat on the back. See? So I like that. Oh, oh my gosh. The next thing. Now, I have a small snowman collection. I, I like Santa's better than snowman. But I do like the snowmen because... They're just kind of jolly, and I like his little sassy face. And I like that she put this bottle brush in it. So, and he was made in Japan, so he is an older little guy. So cute, Rachel. I love him. Okay, and then we have some picks, and these are fabulous. <gasps> We've got one little, one little naughty red reindeer. The rest are white, and they're plastic floral picks. So you can put them in your poinsettias or um, just in, in in some bottles even. But I like this this little naughty red one. He's a naughty one. And I like that the white ones have red eyes. <laughs> that makes them a little creepy. And a red nose. Do they all have red noses? They're all Rudolphs. I like those. These are... I'm telling you what... These are amazing, Rachel. They are creepy and sweet and fabulous and mod all at the same time. Let me put this box down because you gotta be able to see these. Look at these little, they're little Kmar. Now this Kmar stuff is collectible. I've sold a couple pieces and it's kind of novelty, kind of kitschy pieces. Look at them. Are you serious? Look at their, they just look like they're, they're plotting something. They're plotting something, but they are angels. So they, they're angelic, right? Look at her gray hair. <laughs> I love her. She's, she's a, she's the older angel, but look at, and I want to say they, they really, they could be, wouldn't that be fun to have these as like a creepy tree topper for a miniature tree and then hang all creepy looking Santas and scary looking snowmen on it? How fun. Look at their eyeshadow too. These are great. I love these. I love those, Rachel. Oh, and I do have a little angel collection and I'll, I'll take, put some pictures at the end of where I've um, displayed some of the pieces that they have sent me. And then we have a little... Now, he isn't flocked. He's plastic. I don't have one like that. And I like that his paint is chippy. 
He was probably a, a floral pick. Oh no, he was an ornament. Because he can hang from there, from the top of his head. He can hang. Okay, this is, it. This is fun. I want to do this more. Okay, so this is wrapped up in bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting one of these. My friend Cindy has one of these and I admire it every time I go to her house. Oh my gosh, Rachel. He's a so haunting looking Santa too. He has blank eyes, but he's a little napkin, napkin holder. Look at his little eyes. He's got like no expression on his face. That makes him a little creepy. He is made by Lefton. You can see there the tag on the bottom. I love this so much. Now I have one too. My friend Cindy has one and I, I love him every time I walk in. Rachel, oh my gosh, he's precious. I love him. And then we have, oh, this is fun. It's a little mushroom. What does it say on the bottom? It's a Hutzeler in the USA. Oh, it's got treasures on the inside too. But that's a fun little thing. It's very Christmassy. Little, little container. Probably maybe had candy in it at one time, but it's got treasures in it right now. What treasures do we have? Oh my gosh, she's precious. This little, this little baby snow girl. Look at how sparkly she is. I love this. I love the coloring and I love, now this isn't a homemade hand painted piece because it was made in Japan. It's a Christmas novelty made in Japan, but she does have a very, she's very reminiscent of, you know, a home painted piece. Oh, look at her eyelashes. Y'all know I love the eyelashes on things. Is that going to focus? It's focusing on my scary looking face this morning because I've pretty much just took my son to school decided to film this video so nothing's been done to my hair as you can see sorry mom i know you're watching and i know you get horrified when i have messy hair but that's what's happening today oh my gosh these are fun the next thing are these little mini santa taper candles look at the packaging on that i love packaging and they were made in hong kong but they're these little they're just little little baby santa candles for your little baby Santa candle holders. Those are fun. Honestly, I, I probably am just going to leave them in the package and then just display them. So I will just display them like that. That's fun. Oh, this is fun. Then we have this little plaid tin, which these are great because they're, they're holiday festive looking. And then you can put... You know, you can put things on top of them. That one's kind of small. But, you know, you can put your creepy angel on top and have a little height for your display. And there's goodies on the inside. Rachel, you have way cheated. This was supposed to be $10. Cheater. Oh, my gosh. It's a tin full of Santas. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen these plastic ones. My, I mean, I've seen plastic ones, but mine have always been flocked. This one's just kind of like, he's got a red shiny suit on. He's got Japan on his rump. You can see Japan. But he's on ice skates. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Look at his eyelashes too. Woohoo! He is a fancy man. I like him. And then in here... Oh, this is hilarious because Alex sent me one of these too. These little, you know, hugger Santas. And I'll show you. I have one already. And my kids like to take some of my stuff and hide it in weird spots in my house. Like in an obvious but weird spot. And they did that to this guy. And I'll show you. I'll take, I'll, I'll insert a picture at the end. But he's just a little, he's just a little hugger. He looks a little angry and I like that about him. I like that about you, Santa. All right. Hey, Christmas. Oh, these are fun. Wow, what are two of them? Oh my gosh. These are awesome. Oh my gosh, these are so great. 
Look at these vintage swirly candles with holly on them. Are you serious, Rachel? You have way gone overboard. You and Alex both. I'm a little nervous about if you'll like what I sent you because you guys have sent me such fabulous stuff. These are amazing. Okay, these are going to go as a centerpiece on my table for Christmas. Those are great. And then we have this little Christmas tulip holder. Look at this great packaging. I'm telling you, they just don't package things like they used to. And it's scented. Is that what's in here? Oh, it is. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, so you can put a little, now I probably will put a battery um, votive in here, but that's so fun. That would look really nice in your bathroom vanity with a little candle in there. And I love this plastic. But so this is metal, and this is like a little frosted glass votive holder. That's the shape of a tulip, like the box said. Rachel, you did good. And then we have another little pick of a Santa with the plastic holly. I love these. Actually, I know exactly where I'm going to put Actually, a lot of those guys. I'm looking for a spot right up there. Couple more things. Oh my gosh. This. Oh my gosh. This is an ornament of a little ice skater. She, I, I don't think that she's marked anywhere. She very much feels like she could be left in. She's got shiny skates. Her dress is a little bit of a matte finish. She's vintage. She's ceramic. Oh my gosh, she's so fun. She's, oh, I'm gonna put her on my tree. There. Then we have a big thing. Sorry for the paper noise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh seriously okay let me see it's a it's a jingling santa look at him he is a, so annoyed and over it he's over it let me see his back we'll have to put batteries in him i'll insert a clip if he works but even if he doesn't work he is hilarious We'll put batteries in him and test him out, but I love him and his little, his little Santa suit. But he has wheels, so he must roll and ring his bell. So much fun. He is, he's over it. So thank you so much, Rachel and Alex. This was very fun. I think we're going to have to do this a little more often because this was exciting. Um, and we say, we said, like I said, we said we were going to do a $10 limit. That's so hard to do. And also it's, it's fun to buy and, and look for things for other people too. So we will definitely be doing this again. I think, um, we'll think of some other different things that we can do, but this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. And thank you again so much. If you've sent me a card or you've sent me a little bit of, of something, you don't have to. Um, I, I sincerely love reading the handwritten cards and letters. It really does brighten my day. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun for us. It was a little stressful for us too, but it was a lot of fun. And um, I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up and like, comment, and share my channel. Sharing my channel with your friends or on your Facebook pages or on your Instagram pages or stories does help me out a lot. I hope you guys all have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye. The first Noel the angel did say Was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay In fields where they lay keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night that was so 